Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Ruben from the Parker campus, and here's your word for the day. When is the last time you sang? Now, if you've hung around me for any time, you'll soon realize that I like to sing, like all the time. Now, whether I sing good or not is up for debate. I call it singing. Some people may call it a joyful noise. But whether you can carry a tune or not, I want to encourage you to sing. Let there be a song in your heart every morning as you sing for joy. Listen to what it says in Psalm 33, uh, starting at verse 1. It says, Shout for joy in the Lord, O you righteous. Praise befits the upright. Give thanks to the Lord with the lyre. Make melody to him with a harp of ten strings. Sing to him a new song. Play skillfully on the strings with loud shouts. For the word of the Lord is upright, and all his work is done in faithfulness. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the steadfast love of the Lord. So why sing for joy? Well, first and foremost, we are followers of Jesus Christ. We have entered a relationship with the living God. We are forgiven. We are chosen. We are redeemed. We have a hope and a future. We have peace with a perfect God and the fact that he wants to use imperfect people like us for his honor and glory is more than enough for us to sing for joy. That alone should have us not only singing for joy, but shouting for joy every single day. Another reason we should sing for joy is because of God's steadfast love for you and I, his unfailing, unwavering love for you and me. He loves you and I so much, and He demonstrated that love uh, by dying on the cross for us while we were still His enemies. He promises to protect us, to help us, to never leave us, nor forsake us. He is our comfort, He is our strength, and He is our refuge. And because Jesus has overcome and conquered the grave, we win. We win. We will prevail, and we will overcome because of what Christ has done. Now, there is so much going on in and around our lives that can cause us to walk around bitter, angry, frustrated, and feeling ungrateful. But when we are reminded of His steadfast love for us, that the Creator of all things in heaven and in the earth calls you son, calls you daughter, He has forgiven you, restored you, and chooses you, and knowing that nothing could ever separate us from the love of God, that should overflow our hearts with so much gratitude and joy because His love never fails. So let me encourage you to put a song in your heart today and every waking day of your life and sing. Sing for joy to the Lord and let His steadfast love fill your hearts today. God bless you and have a wonderful day.